Can somebody please explain to me why we have a comedian actor is regretting his decision of taking the New Year's Eve photo with Dave Chappelle, one of the all-time greats. I need answers, people. Somebody please tell me, am I missing something? What? So, I, you know what, for some reason, I kind of figure you have people like this that is not, well, are not fan of Dave Chappelle would go out of their way to defend the trans community, the LGBT community. It's like, like what's the deal? What is the point? It's like, no matter what comedians do, the community itself are making it way harder for celebrities to do any type of skits. Trans skits, gay skits. I mean, I can't believe that we're doing this in 2022. This is not the way I want to start off this year. But apparently you have idiots like this made it worse. Let's just get to the article. Comedian Peyton Oswald sententiously apologized for and defended his decision to post a photo of himself and a longtime friend Dave Chappelle despite controversy over Chappelle's view on transgender rights and identity. Oswald posted several photos Saturday on Twitter and Instagram of himself and Chappelle on New Year's Eve. He wrote on Instagram that he finished a set in Seattle where he got a text from Chappelle. I don't get it. Why are you apologizing to these people? Why are you bending the knee to the community that are trying to cancel Dave Chappelle? I just don't get people. Why? Oh, okay. Someone please tell me in the comments why all of a sudden we got people bending the knee to the community and apologizing for taking pictures of Dave Chappelle because I mean, are they forgetting that there are grown people they can do what they want? Do you think they care about what you think? Seriously? Is this what we're coming to nowadays? I just don't get it, man. Then he had the audacity to apologize to the people. Bro, you're selling yourself out for one thing. Like, I can't take people seriously if you're bending the knee to the community that will get mad at you if you tell one gay joke, then it's an issue. It's utter pathetic. Come over to the arena. He's performing in next door and do a guest set. Why not? I wave goodbye to his, I mean, I wave goodbye to this hell year with a genius. I, yeah, with a genius, I started comedy with 34 years ago. Oz works, yeah, he works in arena like he's talking to a person and charming their skin off. Anyways, I ended, well, I ended the year with a real friend and a deep laugh. I can't ask for more. But yet you apologize to the people. Bro, you're a hypocrite. Many of the comments that we made on Instagram are from fans of the comedians. Oswald later admitted that he had deleted negative comments. Well, that's good. Because these sensitive people nowadays will make things worse. Because for one, you don't ever, ever apologize for something you didn't do. Comments on Twitter were more critical. No surprise there. Here we go. As a trans person and a fan of your work, this is extremely disappointing. You've been open about your journey towards more empathetic comedy. 
So I ask you, please think about how this makes your trans fans feel. One person wrote, really? Really? I swear the trans community, oh, this, This really rubbed me the wrong way when I when I saw this. You want him to apologize to y'all for taking pictures of Dave Chappelle, who you claim that you're against. You try to cancel, but you can't. So now you want to cancel Oswald for taking pictures of Dave Chappelle. And why do I have a gut feeling he's going to end up apologizing to, to these people like I've mentioned before? And we all know he's going to do it. Chappelle faced backlash in October after the debut of his Netflix special, The Closer, which critics saw was transphobic and harmful to transgender community. For the love of God, there is nothing harmful there is nothing transphobic about Dave Chappelle's jokes. He basically just told the truth about the community, you know, about the community in general. So what? Since you're a comedian, you want him to stop doing gay jokes and tell jokes about something else? Y'all okay with people doing gay skits? Gay people doing gay skits? Y'all ain't got no problem with them doing that. But as soon as Dave Chappelle, of all people, does something like this, you are up in arms on social media crying about him doing this. And I will bet you that if y'all were to come to him in person and say this stuff to him, I will bet you he will own your behind 100%. Because you're going to hide your little and your little keyboards, your cell phones, and you writing nasty tweets about Dave Chappelle doing skits and jokes on communities. But the part right here about critics on Twitter really made me upset the most because uh, his fans responded to him on Twitter. I mean, this is just pathetic. The controversy sparked a wallet at Netflix and promoted co-CEO, yeah, you already know his name, to say as who up when it came to com well, communicating with the employees hurt by Chappelle's words. The special remains available to the stream on Netflix, which is a good thing, but I'm still pissed at him for defend, you know, for, you know, bending the knee to the SJWs. Chappelle said later that he would be willing to meet with the transgender employees of Netflix who have called it for remove the special, but he added that a meeting would have what would have to be on his term. Yeah, this is what he said, so I'm not even gonna read what he said. Because y'all know how I get with people's quotes. This is embarrassing. Because if I were Dave Chappelle, I would go to these employees and just shut them up. Just shut them up. Because I am sick and tired of these people crying and complaining about Dave Chappelle this and that when it comes to jokes. So what? That's what comedians do. They tell jokes. They make people laugh. They put smiles on people's faces. And they put, and you know what? They put booties in seats. They made you want to laugh, you know? That's what comedians do. Nowadays, you can't even do that stuff anymore because... <sighs> it's, it's, it sucks. The industry is terrible. Oswald posted a long response on Instagram accompanied by a photo of him writing a notepad. I saw a friend I hadn't seen in a long time this New Year's Eve. We've known each other since we're routines. I mean, we were teens. He's a fellow comedian, the funniest I've ever met. I wanted to post a pic and an IG story about it. So I did. The friend is Dave Chappelle. He began. 
and what was so wrong about it? Nothing. Nothing was wrong about the picture. Just two friends taking pictures on New Year's Eve and people got butt hurt about it. I'm like, come on, people. This is 2022 and you're still at it? So also, Yes, also being traded his uh, admiration for Chappelle, and he said the two have been friends for 34 years. He's refocused and refined ideas, a lot of work. I mean, I, I, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to let you read on your own, and then I'm going to move on to the next, next page. All right, let's continue. But we also 100% disagree about transgender rights and representation. I support trans people, I'm sorry, I support trans people's rights, anyone's rights to live safely in the world as their full out slaves. I mean, as the full selves, he said. For all the things he helped me out, well, he helped me involve on, I'll always disagree with where he stands now on the trans issue. Also I added that he doesn't believe Chappelle is done learning. Calling his friend a seeker. He also wrote that he wonders where, I mean, he wonders whether he has caused friends he had cut over disagreements to dig their heels in deeper. Okay, what is, huh? So he's basically telling us that he apologized to the community and he regrets taking photos of Chappelle on New Year's Eve and you're calling him a seeker, like a tension seeker. Okay, I'm a bit confused with this article because you said you were friends with Dave Chappelle for 34 years. And now all of a sudden, you get clowned on on social media and you're apologizing to the community about it. And then you regret it taking pictures of... <sighs> this is just some wild stuff, bro. And this one really, really ruined it for me. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. That I didn't consider the hurt th this hurt this would cause. Or the depth of that hurt also said. He also said he had not even really deleted a lot of posts and the comment threads. Saying that he wanted a he wanted a nice comment thread about the pic with my friend. Oh. So easy to think someone else needs to Yeah, th this is pathetic. I mean, this is pathetic, and I'm trashing you, and I hope that you will continue to get trashed, because this is just pathetic. You apologize to the people for taking pictures of Dave Chappelle. If I was taking pictures of Dave Chappelle, I think my fans would have loved that. And I think if one gay person in the comment section or trans person would comment on this video and say that it's wrong for them to take pictures of Dave Chappelle, especially about the Netflix special. Do you honestly think I wouldn't care about that? I don't think so. I would just keep it moving and just enjoy my life. Let the SJWs get mad all they want. Because at the end of the day, this is my life. My job is to put a smile on people's faces. Not Hand her to the SJWs. But for what Patton did, he took the L bit time. And you basically just, you talked about Dave Chappelle behind his back, saying that how he lost friends 
over disagreements. Yeah, you and him have had agree on trans rights and gay community rights or whatever. But what you did after that, I'm asking all kinds of questions. So I need y'all to comment down below. What are your thoughts on this? Let's get this conversation going in the comment section. Please tell me what are your thoughts on this. If you want the article, I will put it in the description. Yeah, my reading sucks, but I don't care. Because based on what I've saw, my evidence is that Patton took the L, not Dave Chappelle. So I am looking forward to see what of the projects Dave Chappelle has in the future on Netflix. And I will bet you critics, fans will continue to support this brother one way or another. So all I got to say is to the trans community, to the LGBT community, y'all can leave him alone. Y'all can hold this L. Dave Chappelle is winning and you're losing. That's all I got.